most to me is that I come from a background, obviously the last seven years in real estate, but prior to that, 16 years in corporate America, where I had teams of people who were paid to figure out how to work together as teams and still could never get it done. There was always the backbiting and the drama. And to walk into your guys' office and see the level of teamwork and the amount of synergy and camaraderie is amazing to me. I've never seen or experienced anything like that even from groups of people who get paid to do that. So the fact that you guys, as independent consultants, can do that with one another and, and help each other be successful, and then the entire group becomes successful, is really has been really enlightening to me. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. That I think it's amazing that you guys are able to do that at such a high, highly performing level. We should get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before we go around, before we go around and question. I only know what I know. I only know what I see, so I'm around our office. And if you ask me, maybe because I don't plug in as much as I think I should, scale of 1 to 10, I don't know what we are as far as Kellerization. I, I, sometimes, some things I think with the charity events, I think we're 9 or 10, other things 6 or 7. But Scott, since you're owner and around a lot of different market centers, and I want the most honest answer, where are we? How, how, do we, how are we next to the East Valley or the Ahwatukee office, which you know? And Jim, you have the Tempe office and the Biltmore office. Where, where are we as far as colorization? Are we like number one? Are we, are we, not that there's no room to grow if you're number one, but are, where are we? You know, Jim, Jim alluded, he didn't allude to it. He flat out said it. And oftentimes you guys don't hear it. I hear it all the time. Yeah. And Jim said he hears it as well, that when folks come to our office, they are enamored, they're impressed. So that starts at the front end, I mean, at the front desk, the staff, the promptness of returning phone calls. And so when you then go down to what Brian talked about, doing things big and being number one, you go, well, the scorecard is, are you profitable? And the only way that you maintain consecutive years of number one, the only way you maintain having this, this ability to have... 200 plus agents and staying there and our attrition rate is low is that you do have that camaraderie and you have that culture having said that there's always room for improvement and, and earlier I made the comment that I wish we would beat or, or pound the drum louder get to convention get to masterminds Get to Mega Agent Camp, and there's always these reasons why you feel you can't get there. I'll contrast it back to 97 and 98 and say when we had 45 or 50 people going to a convention. When you go to a convention, uh, today sometimes I'll even look at Jim, and I know we've lost a little edge. Now, by the way, I think over time that occurs, meaning... We don't have our guys running around with banners and Mickey Mouse costumes. Red Bash half the time, maybe some of us go, maybe we don't go. But you know, those are the things that pull you through when you need them the most. It's very easy today to make money, work hard. Number one, we're driven, type A personalities. But always remember, we're connected to something bigger than us. And when you get to those outside environments, and most importantly, as Jim would say, mega camp, when we're all together and you're talking, it's not necessarily the event itself that is so terrific, but it's the camaraderie built on the road. It's strengthening the twine amongst us all and hearing a common mission, hearing that common vision. So, I would say that within the region, we are nailing it. I would say... So if I was a secret shopper and I went through what we would think the five... Times I would say years. seven. I would say seven. seven. Because I would hold a litmus test for this. I would say... I was Awachuki or East Valley. I mean, I don't... And I guess we can say convention attendance could be one of the measurements of it. I don't know. Or is everybody... In other words, if we walked into a, a pretty productive Remax office, the theory behind it is people are cordial friendly. But they're not, there's not a great sharing. And we know at Keller Williams, that's, and 
I see that in this office. It's a great deal. It's fantastic. But I, I don't know. I don't have any, any measurement. And that's what I'm using. I would say about a seven. I, I think that if there's a weak point, if there's any uh, challenge that we're fraught with, it's convincing, persuading, getting to those events. Because those are life-changing. And it's not, again, just the event. You're networking. You're meeting other people around the country. You'll hear those one or two things. And, and we don't do a real real great job at that because we're still doing the, well, I know it's tough or it's expensive or it's, 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 it's. And yet, some of those limit tests would be, okay, is our ALC all on 411s? Does our ALC have... Mission, vision, values, beliefs, perspective, and check. Does everybody can, can everybody recite the Y four C two Ts? Can we? So you go well. What is that measurement? So can we get better? Absolutely. I think we never stop questing to get better, and I think in going to some things, knowing that not just two people or three people or four people go to Mega Camp, but rather twenty go, and you sit around the table and you're talking. Your your that camaraderie is there. So. In our region, we're knocking it. And we're knocking it where it counts the most. We're knocking it in profit. You're knocking it in the charitable contributions. You're knocking it with culture. We're there with that. But can we get better? Yeah. And I think that's, though, always in life. Thank you. I, uh, I would give us a higher score than Scott. I'd say we're, we're an eight and a half. Um, absolutely, we can get better. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about it. One of my one of my favorite books. Uh, I think actually Scott introduced me to it uh, many years ago. Was a book called Good to Great, right? And, uh, the, the, and Mike and I were just talking about it last week. Is the enemy of greatness isn't isn't failure or poor. It's it's good being good, being satisfied with being good. And um, our office does a lot of things right. And like I said, I'll give it an eight and a half on a scale of one to ten. But we definitely can do things better. Attendance at those events is, is huge, I think. Uh, but sometimes, you know, some, I, I, I almost would rather see us say, let's, you know, because Kelly Williams just has this whole calendar of crap. Not crap, but good training, right? <laughs> but, I know it's, uh, what I think, I, I think is a, a, maybe it's an ALC or something, we should sit down and go, let's pick four events to go to. Or, you know, rather than half us going to MedCamp, half us going to Friendly Union, why don't we just pick one and go? 